Hey guys, it's Fan Farmstead here, and uh, it's the 22nd of May. Wanted to give you guys an update. I just got back from uh, Moultrie, Georgia, uh, at Rossman Apiaries, GeorgiaBees.com, and I picked up my 2019 packaged bees. I have three of them, three of the packages with queens, and this is what. Uh, if you ever wondered how they transport honeybees, this is what the uh, the boxes look like. They have uh, a wooden box nailed or stapled at the corners on top, and underneath this is a circular hole with a metal can, and in that metal can is uh, sugar water, and it's got two little holes poked in the bottom so the sugar water drips out to feed the bees while they're in transport and when you lift this off there's a little metal tab sticking out and that metal tab is attached to the box that has the queen bee in it and so they do that so you can hold on to the queen bee uh, container when you take the rest of the bees out because you have to remove a plug from one end of the queen bee container to let the uh, the queen bee work her way out and so they just packaged these up for me today that's what they told me I don't know how accurate that is because I see a, a squished bee right there but um, I think they've just been packaging them up and preparing them as the orders come in to be picked up so they can get honey off of them but this is them these are uh, Italian honeybees, and we're going to put them in the hive. So, there they are. Alright, y'all have a good one. Take care. Alright guys, here it is. Uh, it's June, uh, May 22nd, 2019, and we're... I just got back from uh, from setting up the hives. Uh, we just came back from came back from Moultrie, and this is uh, what they call a three-pound package of Italian honeybees with a queen. And uh, this is the beehive I made. And uh, I got these bees from uh, Rossman Apiaries, which is uh, GeorgiaBees.com. That's where I get my bees from. It's over in Moultrie, Georgia. And this is, uh, this is the package, and this is how I'm going to put it in. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top off. And let's show you how that works. It's usually just got a staple or two in it, so it's easier to get off. And in this case, there's a staple right here in this corner. So we're going to pop it loose. And then we're going to come over in this corner. And we're going to pop it loose. And there's a big hole in here and inside this hole let's go ahead and take that off there's a can and that can i'm just gonna set that on the ground the can is full of sugar water and it's got two little holes poked in it at the bottom so if you look right here you'll see a little cross piece that goes there's two of these bars installed in the box and there's a cross piece so this can sits down in here and it rests on top of this and you have the little holes poked in the bottom and the bees eat the sugar water that's in here as it drips out and that's what that that feeds them now this little tab is extremely important because this is what is attached to the little box that's got the queen bee in it now this little box has two plugs in it and I'm not going to be able to show you very well because it's probably going to have a million bees on it when it comes out because they're her attendants and they want to get to her but they can't. But what happens is you pop one of the little plugs out of the end and one end of that little box has candy in it and the bees will eat their way towards the... Uh, uh, the queen through the candy 
and then once they get to the queen the queen comes out and she's living in the hive so what you do is you fold this little piece of metal over the top of one of these frames and you come back out in a couple of days and you check to see if they've let the queen out and if they have you just take the box out and that's that's all you have to do about that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to get this and then I'll show you I don't know if I have enough hands to do this or not with this thing right here so I think I'm going to have to turn the camera off pull the can out and then get the I might be able to do it like this hold on where there is a will there is a way I'm going to set that right there, and then I'm going to set my Swiss Army knife on top of it. That may be enough weight to hold it in place, but now I can't pry with anything. So, I know, we'll get the other knife. There we go. So now we're just going to reach down and try and pry this. And up. Uh, so once this can comes out, all the bees. All right. Now, here we go. So once this can comes out, all the bees are able to come out of this thing. But they're probably not going to want to because it's not ready to be put in the hive yet. So I'm gonna turn uh, turn this around here so I can get at this queen cell with these fingers and we're gonna take this out. And here's your queen bee. Hey guys, guys and gals. Yeah. So there they are. They're out. And we're going to put her around a frame. And then we're going to put uh, the bees, the box of bees, upside down on top of the frame with that lid just back a little bit. And they'll, they'll all go in it. <clears throat> Hopefully, we have enough room to get the queen bee in here let's see okay well here's a Ooh, don't squish anybody it's very tough to see but that's inside they're coming out here's the uh, the queen and we're gonna have to get to her and pull the plug so that they can open her up and let her escape into the beehive so that is definitely going to take two hands and I may not be able to film that so I'm going to see if I can get them to come off of here a little bit so I can get to that plug. As long as it's their idea, they're not going to be too mad about it. But if it's my idea, they're probably going to get mad at me. So that plug right there at, at this end, at this end, is the one I have to get out. So, let me get my little Swiss Army knife out here. And let's see if we can get, uh, get that plug out. Let's see, we need a tiny little pick. And we're gonna get in here and see if we can pick at the end of it to get the plug out. There it is. And we have to get that plug out right there. So, let me do this very, very carefully. Oops, that bee's falling on me. 
All right, girls. Excuse me. I gotta let the queen out. Well, let me go ahead and turn this off and I can do it with both hands because I can't do this with the camera rolling. And I'll be right back. All right, so we got the plug out. There's a couple of bees flying around now because I bumped it and jiggled it. But there's the plug on the end of my little Swiss Army knife. It's a little round piece of cork. And it's in the... It was in the end of this. So in that hole, there's candy. And they're going to eat through that white candy right there. And that'll let the queen out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down in between the frames and it's going to have to be very gently so we don't squish any bees and they're just going to kind of hopefully hang out while I bend this metal out of the way and bend that down just like that And we're going to take this hive tool off and, hey mama bee, go ahead, get off of there. And we're going to take this knife, and we're going to take it, set them down here, and we're going to take this box of bees and we're going to just turn it upside down onto this hive and let everybody just have a good old time and go in the hive. I have to very slowly put it down so you don't squish any bees because they're stubborn and they move slow and you don't want to squish anybody. So we're going to Set it right there. And in a little while, they will go into the hive. As you can see, they'll go down into that hive. The lid is right there. And then I'll be able to come back maybe a couple hours. I'll check on it. Maybe tomorrow, I'll put the queen excluder on top which is that wire metal grate I'll put the super on top of that and then I'll put the lid that's right there on top of the super so it'll be a two-story well it's a uh, one deep nucleus which is where the bees are gonna live and then it'll have one super on top which is where they'll store the honey so and that'll be the beehive and then uh, when they fill it up, we'll check it. Hey, look, there's honey. We'll go ahead and take some honey. So they probably won't have any this uh, at the end of this summer, but that's okay because we're just getting them established in their home. So definitely next season we'll have honey. And that's it for now. So y'all just do, remember, do the best you can with what you got. And, uh, Hope y'all found this informative. Please like and subscribe. And uh, y'all have a good one.